Hey, what's up everyone? H and X here. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my sleeved cards and ranking my top 10 favorites. So, um, here we go. I'm going to real quick organize them in my favorites order and then I will show them to you. So now I rank them and I'm going to show you the least favorite to most favorite. So, uh, let's get started. Here is my least favorite, Radiant Steelix. So, it's my least favorite because it's just like, it's just strange. So, it has 170 health, that's pretty good. A one colorless energy for 20 damage energy stream. Attach it to two metal energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. That's okay. Two metal energy and one colorless energy. Destructive finish. 60 plus. Discard cards from the top of your deck until only one card remains. That's... That's insane. This, this attack does 30 more damage for each energy card you discarded in this way. So... That's... That's very strange move. And you should only use that if you're like really needing to faint someone. So yeah, that's my least favorite. Here's my second least favorite. Darkrai V-Star. So it's pretty cool, but it's not that good. So it's two colorless energy for 30 plus dark pulse. This attack does 30 more damage for each dark energy attached to all of your Pokemon. And this ability is, during your turn, you may put up to two item cards from your discard pile into your hand. You can't use this more than once in a game. So, it's not that good. It's okay, but the, the top move's pretty good. Now, on to the next one. The next one's Radiant Heatran. It's really good, but the artwork isn't that good. It's just like a Heatran in some kind of, like, blue... Thing. So it's one fire energy and two colorless energy for radiant raging blast. This is like the 70 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Next one is Gardevoir. It has some pretty cool artwork, but it's not that good of a card. It's one psychic energy and one colorless energy for 120 damage. And its ability, you must discard a card from your hand in order to use its ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. It's really good, but it's like... I have a different Gardevoir that's not sleeved, that's way better. So now on to the next one. The next one is Milotic. There is really cool artwork. There's Wallace in the background and then Milotic. Probably about to use like Hydro Pump or something. And it's one water energy for 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for a water arrow. So don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. And it's one water energy and one colorless energy for 60 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. So that's pretty cool. Next one, I like this, it's full it's Alt Art Corviknight V. So that's pretty cool. It's one metal energy for 30. During your opponent's next turn, this the defending Pokemon can't retreat and two metal energy and one colorless energy for 190 damage. During your opponent's ne during your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Sky Hurricane. That's what the move's called. 210 health, so yeah, that's pretty good, but not amazing. This one is has some pretty cool artwork. They're like running through a forest, like trying to escape some kind of Pokemon or something. And it's one grass energy for Poisonous Whip. 30 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. And it's one grass energy and one colorless energy for Assassin's Rose. 60 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack also does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that would mean you use Poisonous Whip and then Assassin's Rose. So that's a pretty good combo. And then next one. Oh, next two, actually. They are both. Gengars. So, yeah. Gengar is just 
Cool. And it's not that good, but once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench. If you do, put three damage counters on this Pokemon. So, that's pretty good. And it's one psychic energy for a screaming circle. Put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon to each of you. Wait. Put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, it's not that good. But, it's okay. I'm going to... Oh, yes, this one. This is one of my favorites because who doesn't like Snorlax? Also, it's like eating a lot of food. It's just throwing snacks in his mouth. So, it's Snorlax 150 health. Ability, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon to this Pokemon. Damage is not in effect. Three colorless energy for Thumping Snore, 180 damage. This Pokemon is now asleep. During Pokemon checkup, flip two coins instead of one. If either of them is tailed, this Pokemon is now asleep. Still asleep. So it's not that good. But it's like being chewed across. You get them out. This one is just cool. The artwork is... There's N writing on Zekrom's back. And it's two colorless energy for 30 damage, 130 health. And it's two lightning energy and one colorless energy for 130 damage. This Pokemon also does 60 damage to itself. And your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So it's not that good. But the artwork's definitely cool. Next one is one of my, it's my second favorite slaved card. It's in my top, like, four favorite cards. It is a golden rare, or a secret rare, fog crystal. So, it's an item card, but it's a secret rare, so, like, who doesn't want one of those? <laughs> Search your deck for a psychic energy card or a basic psychic Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Then, shuffle your deck. Yeah. Oh. So, it's pretty good. The next one is a... Charizard V-Star Rainbow Rare. So this was one of my first Pokemon cards. It was like in the first three, two booster packs I had drawn, I had gotten this one. So yeah, so its top move is two fire energy and one colorless energy for explosive fire, 130 damage or more. If this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this is that do 100 more damage. Its V-Star power is 3 fire energy and 1 colorless energy for 320 damage. Discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. You can't use more than 1 V-Star power in a game. So yeah, that's about it. Agent X out. Bye!